Cost Management. This week, we will be diving into activity-based costing. Topic 1. Overcosting and Undercosting. Simple costing systems have the advantage of being low cost and relatively easy to implement. However, they can also be inaccurate. This can result in products or services being undercosted or overcosted. Undercosting refers to a scenario where a product or service is reported to have a lower cost than it actually does, whereas overcosting refers to a scenario where a product is reported to have a higher cost than it actually does. Remember what we have discussed in a previous video, the importance of accurate data in so that we can make accurate decision making based on those accurate inputs. Otherwise, we may have the result of garbage in resulting in garbage out. In extreme scenarios, this can lead to mistakes in pricing that means a product is actually being sold at a loss. So what's the big deal? If the overall company perhaps is profitable? Well, product or service cross uh, cost cross subsidization is a result of under or over costing, which means that if one product or service is under costed, another one of the products in the company must be over costed. Simple costing systems are considerably more likely to result in circumstances that give rise to product cost cross subsidization. Again, broadly speaking, the more complex a costing system gets, the more accurate it will become. Three categories of improvement can render a system more accurate. The first, direct cost tracing. That is, the more direct costs can be identified, the less costs end up in indirect cost pools. This helps mi minimize the broad spreading of indirect costs across products. Two, indirect cost pools. Increasing the number of indirect cost pools allows for more accurate allocation. Having a single broad indirect cost pool with multiple drivers is not as accurate as actually separating those cost pools that are tightly linked to their drivers, the causes. And number three, cost allocation basis selection. Ensuring that you select a highly correlated driver to the allocation basis for the cost pools. A highly correlated driver means that the cause the use of the resource, such as machine hours or labor hours, is causally linked to the effect, accumulation of indirect costs. An overview of activity-based costing systems. Activity-based costing systems help solve the problems of undercosting or overcosting products or services. ABC achieves this by linking costs to, quote, activities and then linking those activities to jobs or processes. For example, an aircraft manufacturer may have activities like preparing the staging area and setup, building fuselage base, building the fuselage cover, building the wings, and aircraft testing. So you could take one of these processes, such as aircraft testing, and actually see how much does it cost us to uh, test our aircraft. Then we could use that information to say, okay, um, should we be testing this aircraft as much? Um, maybe what would happen if we tested it half as much? Um, now, um, if safety is one of your you know, key values as a company and one of your you know, product differentiation strategies, do you really want to be skimping on aircraft testing? Likely not. But by really breaking down these items into the separate activities and processes, it gives us information such that we can ensure that where our money is going is aligned with our values and is aligned with our uh, product or uh, service differentiation strategy. All right, time for a question. You have just completed your first year as a small business owner. Your company makes two products, soap bars and soap dishes. After analyzing all of your records about what you spent on producing your products, you begin to realize that the way in which you allocated your indirect costs was not very accurate, and that one of your products, soap dishes, was actually being sold at a loss. You would base the price on production cost, which means the soap dishes had been, is it A, undercosted, B, recosted, C, 
overcosted, or D, job costed. The correct answer is A, undercosted. Since you based your selling price on production costs, and because you had been selling the good at an actual loss, it is mean it means that not enough costs was assigned to that good to accurately reflect the reality, meaning it was undercosted. All right, great work. Uh, if you are following what we're doing here, great, proceed to video number two. If it's still a little bit fuzzy, I ask that you pause, perhaps uh, start creating your mind map for this. Uh, for this chapter and start thinking back to how it relates to previous topics and previous chapters that we've covered, then circle back, perhaps rewatch the video, and then proceed on to the next video as we're going to be doing some, some more nitty gritty quants. All right, I'll see you there.